Hello everybody and welcome back to Pocket SMP for episode 8. Today we're just going to chill a bit. I have a few things that I want to do. As you can see in my inventory I have two pickaxes, or I've got three but that one's not important at the minute. We have got an efficiency for Fortune 2 and Breaking 3 one and then one with just Unbreaking 3 and Fortune 2. I was hoping to combine these in the anvil and yeah get Fortune 3. So with these, or this Fortune 3, we're going to mine uh, 64 plus 19 diamond ore, 23 emerald ore, and all this lapis ore, and we're going to see what we get. Let's do this. It should, Fortune 3 technically doubles the amount we get, so I'm not, this is not a test or anything. I'm just, this is just something I wanted to do on camera for the satisfaction of it. So we'll see what we get. Okay, so this is what we got. Uh, as you can see, we got exactly uh, double the emeralds, because remember we started with 23, ended up at 46. We got more than I thought we would of lapis, which is crazy. This is something like uh, 23 stacks or something like that. And then we've got two, almost three stacks of diamonds. Well, this is what nine, oh, well, over nine stacks of redstone ore looks like when it's placed down. Okay, so that took way longer than I anticipated, but that is definitely one of the, one of my favourite pleasures in Minecraft is just fortune threeing. That's not even a word, but is putting a fortune three into the oars and coming out with all this good stuff. So that's that's what we've got at the minute, which is pretty good. Um, got 17 diamond blocks there. Quite a bit of gold, although that wasn't obviously fortune. It's a lot of coal, a lot of redstone, which is good. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things have gone. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all good and well. I think for the remainder of this episode, I'm just going to do a few things around the base. Like, for example, I wish to move... Like, so I started collecting horses from a plains biome over there because they were just, like, kind of wandering about. And I thought, hey, why not uh, why not go and give them a home, if you like? And I kind of want to breed them and try and get some good ones. Uh, so I've got them in that pen there, but the pen's a wee bit too far over for my liking. So we're just going to, I guess, change the location of it. This is my mine shaft where I've... It's, it's, it's just rough, it's basically just a, a dirty, you know, on the, on the fly mineshaft, nothing special about it. We actually need a fence gate here because I don't have one as of yet. If we do that, does that still leave them with plenty of room? Yeah, it, it kind of does. Uh, one, two, three, four, I'll maybe move it over one more. So we've got it five wide here, a good old odd number. Alright, and one of the things I want to do is I just want to attempt some path blocks going in here. I'm not sure, it's going to be pretty straight. I don't I don't want it to just be straight, but <laughs> that's what it's looking like. Well, it looks alright. I mean, obviously it doesn't look amazing, but it will do for now. I think also to the entrance of the mineshaft, I kind of want to have a, a ring of possibly stone or wood. Uh, just to mark it, make it stand out a bit from the hillside. I'm just going to go for some good old bog standard uh, oak wood. It's not going to look amazing, but as I said, it's just to mark it out a wee bit. Yeah, that looks fine. And then you go in here and this is the, the start of it, if you like. And we've got a bit of a path going over here now, which is nice. Uh, just over to this area. I'm actually... I. I turned this, there was just dirt here and I turned it to grass. I'm actually not liking it, so I'm probably just going to uh, turn it all back. Oh, I'm going to turn it to stone probably. That's that's a good idea. Another thing I want to do is we're going to grab all this stuff and we're going to move it into our enchanting room just because I kind of want to get things a wee bit more neatly polished. So if that goes here, and if we do that, uh, we shove that 
there. I guess just for symmetry sh sake we could... Yeah, do that. That looks alright, right? Right, right? <laughs> um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've decided it would be interesting to add the path block here as well. So we'll give it a go, I guess. Okay, so got a bit more done. We have got uh, a path here that goes to the bridge. Oh dear, I never actually, <laughs> never finished this bit, so I'll get doing that straight away. Um, so yeah, we've got the path going to the bridge, and that just kind of comes up a bit of a staircase uh, up to here. Let's make this wider, I guess, here. Just a wee bit of terraforming. So, quite happy with that. I might fill this in as well, just to even things up a bit. We got the path over there to the the mine. Got a staircase up to the uh, portal there. Um, one thing we're missing is a storage room. I would also really like a tree farm, so I think that's going to be our aim for the next uh, couple of episodes. Just a heads up: uh, at the time, by the time this video goes out, I may be struggling to do a video per day. Uh, so just a heads up for that. But I'll continue to try. Um, obviously, I don't think I'll be able to do this forever, um, obviously, but as I said, I'm going to try and keep it up as long as possible. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Pocket SMP. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.